Hey guys, welcome back. So in this uh, video, I'm going to introduce the concept of shift and get opts uh, in Bash, right? Uh, they basically work in conjunction, conjunction and they are very helpful in making your scripts uh, take arguments, right? Uh, you can basically, instead of just relying on positional parameters, you can uh, pass arguments to your uh, script, uh, right? So, I mean, explaining it uh, theoretically is quite difficult. So, I'll probably just start writing some script and then I can just explain you uh, what shift is and what get opts is, right? Uh, and before that shift basically is a command in uh, uh, your shell which shifts all your positional positional parameters one side one space to the left right so it just shifts left everything uh, to the left if you don't pass it any argument and if you pass it a a, 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 a number uh, an integer number uh, say one two three four one is by default uh, if you pass it two three four so it shifts your positional parameters that many uh, number of times right uh, I, I mean, I also had uh, difficulty when I was getting started with uh, this uh, when in my days, right, like eight, eight, ten years back. Uh, it is a very complex concept, especially when, when they use it in, in some big uh, complex uh, shell scripts. So it gets a little tricky. So just pay attention to this and it, it is not that tough to get. But uh, if you don't pay attention, probably it will go over your head, right? All right. So I remember we had a script called toppers.sh, right? Uh, so let's rewrite the script using shift first and then we will get into get opts. Okay, so let's just write an updated uh, toppers.sh, right? And let's shebang. And I want my script to be something like uh, uh, updated toppers.sh and then I can pass a, a flag basically hyphen s which will be a size say suppose I pass it 3 right and then I give it the file name so this would be uh, the format of my script right this is how I want my script to run so in order to do that uh, I'll just first check if dollar one let's put dollar one is equal to and somehow my Amazon Linux is annoyingly slow today. I'm not sure why equal to hyphen s right so this is my uh, first positional parameter if you see in the script so this is dollar one dollar two and dollar three is my file name right so in this case what i'm going to do then i'm actually going to set how many as equal to dollar two which is uh, right right so if my dollar one is this then my dollar two is my size uh, is my actual size what i want right uh, I'm not going to make this uh, script very detailed and make checks for everything. You can do it yourself, right? You can check whether uh, hyphen s, if hyphen s is not passed, then what will happen? You can put in all those checks. I'm not going to do that because I just want to quickly explain the concept, right? And then after this, I do a shift. So I just, I'm doing shift. No, I'm not passing it any uh, numeric value. I just want all the positional parameters to shift one space to the left, right? And I think that's pretty much it. Phi. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my file name is equal to dollar two. Now why if my file name is dollar two? It should have been dollar three. But since I've shifted everything to the left one space, uh, my file name becomes dollar two, right? And then I can just simply do my sort command sort hyphen nr. Uh, it used to take file name. Right, and we use the pipe it to head and, and inside this uh, we would pass how many right so let's save this uh, update it and let's run it hyphen s 
and say I want first three records and the file name was marks.txt so you can see it's working right so this is how basically the basic shift operation works <clears throat> you can do a lot of uh, things with this script right you can set some default value for the size if if suppose I don't give the size uh, there there should be some default value which is already there right so you can do that you can put in checks with the script but again this is not scalable right suppose I have uh, 10 positional parameter or 10 parameters to my script I want to pass then this thing becomes very redundant and what if my hyphen s is not my first positional parameter suppose I want to pass uh, this size after after passing the file name right so those checks I mean I would actually have to put a lot of checks in in my script and this would make it very very redundant so in order to get passed over that bash has something called get ops so let's write another script we'll call it advanced uh, toppers dot sh right and in this uh, first let's do shebang bash so get off basically works with uh, while loop right so and it is basically a keyword uh, in your shell so while get ops and it takes two arguments right so the first is basically a string uh, which is uh, the parameters which you want say I want I want s right and I want since my s would be followed by a value for s right so in order to define those kind of parameter you need to put a colon <coughs> right and then I would say have a file name with f and again after hyphen f doing hyphen f I would have a, a, a value to hyphen f right so that would again uh, I'll put a colon so you understand so the parameters which do not have any values you can simply write this so suppose if my uh, size I mean I was not going to pass anything to s I would have just done this s and if I was not going to pass anything to f I would have just done this right and that's pretty much it what would go to get ops but since uh, after s I will be passing a value uh, to the size so that's why I need to put uh, a colon right and similarly for f I need to put a colon because I'm going to pass a value to f and you actually should be putting a colon in front of uh, this because if you don't uh, and you provide some invalid uh, parameter get ops will actually print uh, a very what you call I mean it will basically uh, error out but it would be very shabby so in, if you don't want get ops to uh, basically put an error out on the uh, what you call standard out right uh, and you, and you want to customize the error you put a colon in front of uh, this string right so these would be my parameters so I'll give the size I'll give the file name and the other uh, parameter which get ops take is uh, a variable where you are going to store these right so while do so now what I'm going to do and I'm going to start a case statement case dollar opt in so first is s right so now the values which I pass to these variables or these uh, parameters uh, get ops actually store them in a predefined variable called opt arc right so I'll show you how so if s right what I'm going to do is size equal to dollar opt arc right I hope you you are with me uh, till here <coughs> okay then for f I would have file name equal to dollar opt arc 
and in fact i should make this how many so that you guys can relate it with the last script which we wrote so this is this basically how many right and if if some invalid option is passed right so what i can do is i can echo out usage right and i can say you can do advance toppers dot sh hyphen s uh, int and hyphen f file name write a basic uh, uh, usage and then uh, just exit out if someone has uh, put in a, a invalid parameter right so that's pretty much it uh, we can do esac and done and in order to tell the get ops that it has processed all the command line parameters what we need to do is we need to do a shift of dollar and there is another special variable where basically getops keeps track of number of uh, uh, command line or basically positional parameters it has processed that is opt in opt ind minus one and this would be dollar opt not just okay so this is basically telling that that we have processed all the uh, position or command line parameter all the parameters okay so now uh, we can do our sort command so sort hyphen nr uh, what was our file name so dollar file name right and we're going to pipe it to head How many right so this looks good to me let's see I mean we'll if we have made any error uh, we'll get to know shell will let us know right ch mod plus x and we can do advance hyphen s say I want six records and hyphen f is my marks.txt oh so we have done something wrong <laughs> we went into an infinite while loop let's look what we've done not while.sh we need to look into vi stoppers.sh case i'll get off Oh come on man, this is not get opt, this is get opts, I mean I made the mistake like two year old, okay. Let's run again and you can see our script is now working, so first six records, three, three, six, yeah. And let's see if we do something like, we pass the file name first. And we pass s3 so you can see I mean the positional positions now don't matter uh, with get ops because it is processing the options and not the actual position all right so I know this this was actually confusing and this will take some time for you I mean if you're starting with shell scripting if you're very new to Linux this is going to take some time to understand how this is working right so I mean, if, if you're just getting started, there's no need to write scripts with getops, right? Write some basic scripts using just the commands, right? And then probably when you, you are comfortable, uh, you can look into, probably you can start working with shift because shift is easy to understand, right? But getops can actually be a little, little confusing.
but anyway so let's uh, i mean let's end this video over here uh, and please if you have any uh, questions any any doubts just put them in the comments and i'll be happy to help you out uh, i hope you guys like this video please do subscribe to the channel before leaving and thank you for watching